Hey everybody, this is Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants, and today I wanted to talk to you about a common problem that's pretty unique to the civil design world, and it's the idea of making uh, lines tangent to arcs. Sounds like a simple CAD process, but really it's it's a big thing when you get into the civil world. So if you look here on screen, you see that I have a you know a roadway, a little curve coming in here, and what I need to do is I need to draw a segment of line that'll come up and turn into this roadway. All right, the problem that I have is I need to be able to get a line that's gonna be tangent to this arc to continue out in that direction. And that's always a big issue for us, right? People go in and they'll you know draw the line from the node and they'll kind of eyeball it in and get close, right? Or people will go in and they'll try and draw you know, a, a, a line, right? That you know, goes from this point to you know, the apparent intersection of you know, that arc and that line, right? But the problem is, that's where the line will come in, right? So you, you run into these issues, people really struggle with this. It seems like a very simple thing, and it really is uh, once you see how to do it, all right? So it really does come down to this. In Civil 3D, we can just go over to the Home tab, and we can go to the Line dropdown under the Draw panel, and we're right down here, we're just gonna create a line from the end of an object. That's it, all right? Now it says you can select an arc or a line object, so I'm just gonna pick this arc. All right, now here's the thing. Notice that I can just kind of drag my, my crosshair in any direction. It doesn't matter what direction your crosshairs are moving or which direction that, that yellow rubber band line is. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in a distance. I'm going to make it simple. I'm just going to put a 20-foot distance. And you watch what happens. It draws a 20-foot long line tangent to my previous arc. Now I can just go in and I can, you know, go ahead and just, you know, you know fill it. All right, the, uh, the setup. Sorry, I'm going to do the fill command. Right, from here to here, right, to finish out my roadway, or I can extend it out, you know, whatever command I want to kind of complete that structure. Right? No worries, I can just extend that line right out to where I need it to be. Like so. Okay? All right, so that's it, and I can just fill it that, clean that up, do whatever I do. So it's a very easy thing, and I can do it on, on either direction, right? So if I just have kind of a free floating arc just to show you that it doesn't matter, I can do it on both lines. Right? I can easily go in and add tangents on either end just by create a line from the end of the object on this side, okay, and I'll make that 50, okay, and then I'll do it again. I'll just hit re enter to repeat the command, then I'll do it over on this side, and I'll make that one 50. And you see I've got perfectly tangential lines coming into any arc or curve that I have. Now, another way that this can be really, really useful is this concept kind of ties into polylines as well. So if I'm running a polyline command, right, very common thing, you're drawing a roadway, and you went into an arc structure, Right? and you kind of curved around, and now we need to go back to lines. Right? So no problem, I can just come down here and I can go to the line, but the issue that I have is here within the polyline. How do I make that line tangential? Well, exactly the same way. This time we're just gonna go here to the length option, and I just put in a length, and again, it doesn't matter where my crosses are, I'm just gonna put a length of you know 25, and you see it draws me a perfectly tangential line, 25 foot long, or however long you need it, and I and right back into linear structures with no issues. That is how you can go ahead and make all of your lines and arcs tangential using Civil 3D. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you'll hit zentechconsultants.net to see more of the uh, offerings we have and more tips and tricks. Thanks, guys.